with interstates, railroads, thousands of miles of waterways, and three deep water ports. Louisiana is an attractive way station for drugs coming into the U.S. from overseas. Cocaine, both powder and crack, poses the serious threat to Louisiana citizens. The result is a high rate of addiction and the violence associated with cocaine distribution. Only admissions to treatment for alcohol abuse exceed admissions for cocaine addiction. The Office of Drug Control Policy reports that meth poses the fastest growing threat to the state. Further, state officials note that the abuse of meth leads to more violent crime especially crimes against children who are unable to protect themselves. In such cases, social services are strained to the limits as they try to protect children and families from being destroyed by this ruthless drug. Abuse of Oxycontin, Hydrocodone, Xanax, and other prescription drugs is rising at an alarming rate. In 2005, more than 13% of young adults reported abusing prescription drugs. In 2003, more than 180 people lost their lives due to drug abuse in just three parishes that make up the greater New Orleans areas. The killer drugs were opiates such as Oxycontin and Methadone, followed by cocaine, alcohol, and benzodiazepines such as Xanax. The right time to get help for those abusing or addicted to drugs or alcohol is right now. The next time the addicted person uses meth, heroin, cocaine, alcohol, or any other drug could bring disaster or incarceration. When looking for an effective drug rehab program, determine if the program in question has a treatment system that effectively eliminates the three basic barriers to a successful recovery. They are the cravings, guilt, and depression suffered by every addicted person. When an addict can leave guilt, cravings, and depression behind, then they can build the skills to make drug-free choices. And when real recovery is attainable, Louisiana builds a better future for all its citizens. So get help now. For NNTV, Drug Rehab News, this is Tim Gozanski.